The Office of Naval Research's Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics program encourages education in technical fields for students around the country. Petty Officer Mark Schultz takes a closer look. This is what a first robotics competition looks like. It's a mix of video games, robots, and sports. So why would the Navy be interested in something like this? We help to provide a broadening of the science and technology base that will one day produce the students that go on to graduate and will be competent in the subjects that we rely on. Admiral Carr says that with all the ships, submarines, aircraft, and vehicles operated and interconnected, the Navy is a highly sophisticated and technical service. But the Navy is taking a back seat here. Programs like STEM, or Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, help schools pay for these programs and allow the teachers and mentors to develop these children's interests. Well, they kind of like showed us and we did it. So they like guided us, but we completed it. Admiral Carr says the students see an opportunity to do something fun. Well, I'll be able to do mechanical parts in the robot, like drilling the metal, measuring, making sure everything's aligned perfectly for our frame and all the wiring to fit onto the board. And what the Navy sees is a more educated future. You know, our future lies in innovation and our ability to innovate uh, and come up with solutions for problems that we don't even know are problems yet. And that requires uh, a technically oriented, technically capable uh, body of students who become young professionals. According to Admiral Carr, STEM programs like the first robotics competition is a win-win for both the students and the Navy. From Washington, I'm Petty Officer Mark Schultz.